We're visiting one of our absolute favorite spots in the Eastern Panhandle today, Historic Harbors Ferry. We might venture out of the historic district a little bit today, we'll see. Yeah. Few places in West Virginia are as iconic as Harper's Ferry. It's well known for being the site of John Brown's raid, which many credit as the spark for the Civil War. It's perhaps equally well known for scenic hikes and trails. I come here with my family often throughout the year to hike, visit the historic buildings, and of course get some great food and ice cream. You ready for ice cream later? Well, how many ice cream shops <laughs> did you say they have now? Okay, well when I was here last I counted four. One was under construction, so that okay. would be five, okay. but we'll have to see. All right. The lines get pretty long at some of the bigger ones out front, so a lot of the restaurants will kind of bring you in to get ice cream. We will see. Of course, we're starting out with coffee today at Battlegrounds Bakery and Coffee. This was our first stop before we make our big trek across the bridge today. It has a range of things from hot and cold drinks, sandwiches, frozen custard, and some locally made gifts as well. Yeah, great place to stop if you're in town. Mm -hmm. You're in for a real treat today. We're headed to the point to enjoy the Shenandoah and Potomac River, the views of the town behind us, and the Maryland Heights rocks up above. I don't think we're gonna climb up there today though. Do you, what do you think? Uh, no, no, that's not gonna happen. You I didn't bring my hiking shoes, no. <laughs> <laughs> Rothies do not do well on hikes. <laughs> Harpers Ferry National Historic Park has 22 total miles of hiking trails, including a special section of the Appalachian Trail. It's a popular destination for day hikers and tourists. There's also the Armory Canal Trail. Another popular spot that people like to visit is Jefferson Rock, a scenic overlook which offers panoramic views. This is a relatively short but very steep hike, so be prepared. There are so many ways to enjoy the area, from kayaking, tubing, zip lining, biking, or even going to a vineyard. You can book your local adventure with River Riders or with Harpers Ferry Adventure Center. More ways to enjoy nature, Hillbrook Inn and Spa offers chauffeured trips to nearby vineyards in western Loudoun County, Walsh Family Wine, and Dukeney. For a park experience that isn't necessarily also a tourist attraction, you'll want to visit Sam Michaels Park. Located on 130 acres, this park offers a picnic pavilion with an adjacent kitchen and restrooms. While here, you'll also find a community center, athletic fields, playgrounds, horseshoe pits, and a sand volleyball court. Mm. Another popular park that's within driving distance is Catoctin Creek Park and Nature Center. This is across the bridge in Maryland and has 138 acres of parkland. The Nature Center offers hands-on displays, live animal displays, a playground, pavilion, trails, and more. If you can swing it, it's better to visit Harpers Ferry on a weekday because those weekend crowds can get a little overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Today, we're currently a Wednesday morning and there's hardly anyone here. It's a nice, small crowd with us. Mm -hmm. Not even a crowd. No, I wouldn't call it a crowd. <laughs> there are lots of great options for food in Harper's Ferry. We went to the Rabbit Hole Grastro Pub for lunch. Their balcony is a great place to enjoy the views. They have burgers, salads, and interesting dishes like vegetarian crab cake made of artichokes. Mm -hmm. That was tempting, but I did go with something else. Speaking of veggie dishes, Kelly's Farm Kitchen on Washington Street is a 100% vegan menu complete with burgers hoagies, chicken sandwiches, and oat milk ice cream. Their ramen is also very popular. They catered a friend's baby shower recently, and I have to say I was a little skeptical, but I absolutely loved the food, especially the nachos and spring rolls. Oh, what a shock that you enjoyed the nachos. <laughs> I mean, there would, it wasn't real cheese, so I was a little surprised, but good job. Good job, Kelly's. I highly recommend this place, even if you're a little intimidated by vegan food, which I was. Another local favorite is the Country Cafe up on the hill in Boulevard. This is a great spot for a Southern style breakfast, especially if you love country ham. Do you even know what country ham is, Kristen? I sure do. You forget that I have Southern roots there, Hannah. And although I may have been born in Jersey, but because of that, I do prefer pork roll over okay. country ham. Mm -hmm. It's a New Jersey delicacy. I'll take a country <laughs> ham any day, but I'm glad you know what it is. They also serve something called the Wimpy Breakfast, which I don't quite know what it is. I need to find out now. All right. If you're craving some pub food with live music, White Horse Tavern has more than just burgers and fries. Their menu includes salads, fish, steak, and milkshakes. Yep, you're pretty much promised dessert here because all the hungry hikers need their ice cream and milkshakes. That's true. Speaking of ice cream, let's see how many ice cream places there are. Okay, there is Battleground Bakery where you can get custard, Creamy Creations, a la mode. There's probably a few others too, I think. Yeah. Okay, but where is the best ice cream? 
A few of them serve Hershey's ice cream, which can be really delicious. Don't wanna be a snob, but when I come here, I'm really in the mood for something locally made and unique. So my favorite right now is the Custard at Battlegrounds. They have something called Death by Peanut Butter right now. Oh, which... well, I do love my peanut butter, so. <laughs> you might have to try a few though to get you know the good research. <laughs> All right, before we get too crazy about the ice cream, you need to know what the other restaurants in Nightlife are. A few spots to check out include the Barns of Harper's Ferry, Towns Inn, Harper's Ferry Brewing, and for a fancier night, check out Hilltop House Hotel. All right, don't forget to hit that like button if you're enjoying our Harper's Ferry tour. And subscribe to get notified whenever we drop new videos. One of my favorite spots to go to, which I keep on telling you about in all our Harper's Ferry <laughs> videos, is the True Treats Historic Candy Shop. They have candy on display from different time periods, and they even pair candy sometimes with the books where the candy is mentioned, which totally speaks to my nerd heart. <laughs> they also allow dogs, which is great if you're bringing your dog out to hike. For shopping, there are some great boutiques with locally made and artisan goods. Harper's Ferry Outfitters, it's great for gear and equipment for your outdoor adventures. And head to Harper's Ferry Historical Association Bookshop for all kinds of Harper's Ferry themed books, sweatshirts, and park related gifts. Yep, and stuffies. That's why my kids try to get us to buy stuffies every time we go here. <laughs> <laughs> for you history lovers, you can also visit Bolivar Heights Battlefield, which preserves the site of a Civil War battle that took place in 1862. You'll see cannons and monuments here and also learn the story of the battle. There's also Antietam National Battlefield just over the river in Sharpsburg, Maryland, and Antietam National Cemetery. There's lots to do here. There's even a free app you can download to help you explore the historic spots and hear audio accounts of soldiers from the battle. If you wanna get even more immersed in history, check out one of the ghost tours offered. Or if you just like to be spooked, I heard there are also vampire tours. Ooh, great for you Twilight lovers. <laughs> All right. Are there still Twilight lovers out there? Yeah, there are. <laughs> They're diehard. <laughs> Another great spot within driving distance of Harper's Ferry is Shannondale, where they have the Mountain Lake Club. Which is technically part of Harper's Ferry. <laughs> yep. yep. So they have a man-made lake that was built in the 50s sometime. It used to be a vacation destination for people in kind of the DC Baltimore range. Now it's a residential community and they have a restaurant. You can go to the Mountain Lake Club and use the beach or swim, fish, etc. Mm -hmm. in the lake, canoe, kayak. You can pay a daily rate. You can become a member, join for the summer. They have family packages. There's all types of things you can do down here. It's also a nice drive just to go on Lakeside Drive and just go around and see all the different houses, mm -hmm. some really cool cabins, yep. and lake houses here. You can also look into short-term rentals as well. There's lots mm -hmm. of those in the community, especially those that are lakefront. Yep, nice place to stay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoyed our Harper's Ferry visit, next up it's time for the pros and cons of Harper's Ferry to learn more about what it's like living here. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.